Hey, what's up? So the collapse track button, whatever you want to call it, is in the command palette if you hit control three to get the command palette. And it is in this uh, tab called other. And what I do is I always drag it into my record side buttons somewhere. I don't really use any of these buttons up here, so I can replace any of them. I'll just put it right here for now. And what the collapse track will do is sort of combine, especially when you have multiple layers of track. So let me just show you something right here. I have a background and I have a clip of a woman grabbing her phone from a porta potty. And then on something on V3, let's imagine that... I don't know. I wanted this to also be in space somehow. And I'm going to make an animat right here. I don't know. We'll just make a little circle right there and we'll feather that. We'll maybe swap the source. And even let's say I have a video on this awesome Blend X tool right there. We wanted to put a layer mode on that, put a screen grab effect on there, and that will get rid of the black. So now I have these three layers, right? And let me render those. I will cut off the last two frames so that they're all even. And now, in a sense, I have th tracks V1, V2, V3 on my timeline. And let's say for some reason, you know, I really knew I didn't want to get back into this or whatnot. This is where the collapse tool could come in. Instead of being on three tracks, V1, V2, V3, I can hit collapse with them all selected. And now they have been collapsed, literally collapsed into one track so you know if you in theory i would re-render this even though i probably wouldn't have to with the green dot but how would you get back into and change something if you wanted to here so it just makes your timeline cleaner especially for something if i don't know if you were doing something with eight nine layers and you just didn't want to deal with that much timeline space and whatnot so you can get in by stepping in down here the step in button and you could see what's underneath right see the same three tracks that uh, i just collapsed or another way to do it is if you go into segment mode and double click it now you can see the same thing here you can see those uh, three tr three tracks excuse me and you could recut them you could adjust them you could slip and slide them you could put new effects on them etc 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 so what other use would I use for this collapse tool? Now, again, I'm not dealing with major motion pictures and, and, and high-end television shows that are conformed in other places with Resolve and things like that, um, that go out of house after it's done to be color corrected, etc. Anything I'm working on is going on the air or being put on the internet as it is from my box. So... In my head and in the way I like to work, I really don't like to have more than three video tracks at any one time. I like to keep the bottom level V1. I like to have V2 for B-roll, V3 maybe for title graphics. And anything above that that's getting, I will usually collapse some part of that so I never have to see anything above V3. For the most part, not always. The other thing I want you to think about is that imagine you got some sort of footage that, I don't know, you needed to make it all black and white and you needed to blow it all up. Let's say instead of doing it on all, I don't know, you know, 80 clips I have here. Let me just mark and mark an in and out on this blank adjustment layer V2. Right. And I will just to, for time's sake, make it quick. Use a old school color effect, make everything black and white. And then on, I don't know, on V3, maybe I would do the same thing. And and maybe for some reason the, the footage didn't come in right. and You had to blow it up a little bit. Move him down a little centered. And, and one more track I'll do is what we just did before. And I'll copy and paste that in the monitor. And I'll take that crazy, crazy light animation effect that we had going on that last one. Imagine I wanted to, that to go for some reason. It was, it was looping and whatnot. It was going through the whole frame. So right here, right, I have these three frames. And of course, I don't want to drag and drop these three different things all over the place. What I could do is just collapse the three of them. And now I have these three layers that in theory I could copy and paste anywhere, right? And I could extend it left and right. And now I have that. Now this look is black and white. It's blown up and it has those flashing lights in the middle of the screen. So just think about these as a, diff a type of workflow, things that might come up in your workflow and how the collapse tool may be able to help you. But if that doesn't help you, what guaranteed to help you will be if you start drinking lots and lots of beers. I don't know if I already talked about this last year. I think I did. I like this really spectral haze from Blue Point Brewery in Long Island. I'm starting to see it in supermarkets and stuff. So they're obviously putting some sort of push behind it. And they maybe they as they should because it's a delicious, hazy IPA with mosaic hops. 
right? Number one, Mosaic Hops, which I think is the most delicious IPA hops around. For more avid tips and tricks, and to take the full course, if you're a premier user, go to avidbeer.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.